Jerry Adams left Dublin this morning with Joe Austin, another leading Belfast Republican. In stark contrast to the unfettered departure from Dublin, in London security was tight. Steve Bundred from the Greater London Council in the red shirt was there to meet them, as was Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour MP for Islington North. Sinn Féin say the visit is to spell out the Republican case, but many see it as provocative. A lot of people in Ireland consider the presence of over 30,000 British troops as provocative. Jerry Adams, Peter Pye has come to improve Anglo-Irish relations. Won't your visit heighten anti-Irish feeling in Britain? No, I don't believe so. I think that we're here to try and find uh, the basis on which peace can be established. And the only way in which peace can be established is if people honestly tackle the cause of the problem. Nonetheless, there has already been an outraged reaction to the visit. Members of the Greater London Council are split and there's a row simmering in the Labour Party. Though flatly denied by Sinn Féin, the visit is seen as a deliberate attempt to upstage Peter Barry, the Irish Republic's Foreign Affairs Minister, who's here to try and improve Anglo-Irish relations. He represents the, the, the uh, violent strain of the Irish people and that's all. He's just here in another part of his campaign death and destruction that has done so much damage to Ireland for the last 15 years. First stop for Gerry Adams was a meeting with Ken Livingstone, leader of the GLC. At a press conference, Mr Livingston argued that the visit would not cause offence. The overwhelming majority of Londoners want to see an end to the war in Ireland which spills over onto our streets. They believe overwhelmingly that the only way we're going to stop the killing is by talking. And they do not share the views of the media and the British cabinet that we should not talk to people from Sinn Féin. Outside the House of Commons, an angry voice. Scam of Europe, get out! Scam of Europe, get out! The politicians chose boycott as their protest. Only six Labour MPs turned up for the meeting. Joan Thurkettle, News at 10 at Westminster.